So it's something different. I decided to do some commentary over the top of some footage from my last ski trip to Canada. So hopefully you enjoy this. Um, yeah, so these last uh, few days I actually got some new ski boots fitted and wanted to get some footage of what it looked like because um, it felt really, really good. So uh, this is me just scanning down really cool uh, mellow pitch bumps at Sun Peaks and then into some bigger bumps under the chair, elevation chair, getting some fun air. I was just playing around with uh, different lines and not only absorbing oh, until that point. <laughs> Good to show that you fall sometimes. My tips actually got stuck. The two little metal tips as I'm showing there got kind of crossing each other and caused me to get a bit panicked and fall. But yeah, I was just playing with uh, different absorbing um, and then also taking the air off like this and skipping some troughs <clears throat> just to vary up uh, what you do in the bump. It's really good for your reactions and just keeping it fun. It's really enjoying the snow. It's amazing this day. This is actually my last run of the whole trip. I've done a run called In Tatters. It's actually a double black. It doesn't look that steep here, but it is pretty darn steep and has all these kind of roads like uh, just here where the logging truck goes across so you kind of really hopping around and launching off stuff and it's quite good because I'm just on my slalom ski 170 vocal race tiger um, in some you know fairly decent powder so it's good for your balance to take a narrow ski out like that and ski down some choppy soft powder. Um, this is probably the second day I think on my new boots. Uh, just making some short turns down a run called Sting, which is a black run. Um, again, just playing with uh, how the boots kind of set me up and just allowed me to move laterally and transition really well. And I'm just really happy with, uh, I guess, the separation between my upper and lower body in these turns. Uh, this particular run, blue, fairly decent blue run called Blazer at Sun Peaks, opened it up a little bit more, tipping it over. and made me realize I need to get some risers put on these boots because they're a little wider across the toe box. So uh, like on this turn here, you can see I kind of boot out and the outside ski slides away from me. Uh, it was like minus 20 and I had boot gloves on so that didn't help either. That kind of made the boots batter and pushed me off the uh, edge a bit more. The same run, uh, blazer, just, uh, making some short turns. Again, I'm really kind of pleased with what these boots, how they've set me up because there's a few, a few times where I'd feel that I'd down stem from my old boots, but these ones seem to make me just stand more in the middle and stay on the, in the middle of the ski more easily and transition better. So. happy with that um, and then here's some more boring looking turns but uh, I think it just I just wanted to show that you know I'm always working at my skiing you know at different speeds and different levels um, just uh, was focusing on uh, feelings of my hips here laterally um, fore and aft just some opening and closing and uh, and then just again feeling the edge and how much pressure and um, kind of, uh, I guess, skid was going on through the turn just to try and make it really smooth and, and even. And these are some turns from Solden actually in October on uh, a friend's uh, ski. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the commentary over the top of this. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. See ya. So stoked to be skiing with Kelly again. So stoked to be here with you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so just here we go.